Are you looking for how to do your Joe Where To registration? Perhaps you want to know how to connect your Joe Where To watch. In this video, you will know how to do just that. Let's get down to business. Joe Where To registration is not hard. Follow these simple steps to have a successful registration. You will need a valid email address or a phone number. As you can see, I have the Joe Where To app installed on my phone already. Now, I will uninstall this and start from scratch. Let's go. Alright, this is what you should do first. Switch on your data, your Bluetooth and your location. These three are important for a successful Joe Where To registration. Secondly, go to the Google Play Store and search for Joe Where To. There are two versions of Joeware application available on the Google Play Store. We have Joeware Old Version and Joeware 2 Latest Version. This one is the one that we are talking about. Download and install the Joeware 2 Latest Version. Once install complete, open the Joeware 2 app. You get a pop-up message asking you either agree or disagree to the user agreement and privacy policy. Select Agree. The next page gives you two options, either to log in with your mobile phone or your email address and the Facebook option down below. In this video, I will be showing you how to use the email option. To register, click on the register now link. Click on the email option. Enter email address. Mine is babsomotden at gmail.com as you can see. The next line is the capture. Tap on get option and wait for 20 seconds and you will get a notification from Orimo Cloud right in your email box. Go to your email inbox. It contains your Orimo verification code which is four digits as you can see on the screen. I have my here. Memorize it and paste it in the capture code. Now, input your new password Type it again to confirm the password. Select the register now option. Now the app will take you back to the first page and you have to log in. Input the email address and input your password that you use. Log in. You see a pop-up message. Select allow for Joe 2 app to access your phones and other files. Then continue with the settings. Here at the background activities permission page, select the go to set option. Scroll down to the display over app. Select the option and toggle the setting. Go back twice. Now, at the top right corner, you, you tap on the next option. The next page, pick your gender and select the forward arrow. Pick your height and weight. In this video, I'll be using a random number for the sake of this tutorial. Click next and select the complete option. Now we are at the select device page. Here, take your Ramo smartwatch and reset it. How? You go to the settings on your Ramo smartwatch and restore factory settings. Pick yes to complete the process. This is the same thing on the Oramo OSW20, but it has a reset option. Now, this will reset and refresh the smartwatch in an instant. Once it is up, go to your smartphone, tap on the select device option. A pop-up message will appear. Click on I got it. Another pop-up, select allow. The app will locate your watch immediately as you can see. To confirm it is your watch. Double check the Mac Bluetooth address as shown. Select the Orimo watch and it will connect instantly. Now you don't need to register every time. Just switch on your Bluetooth and it will connect. And if you have any question, please go to the comment section below and put your comments there. I'll be waiting to receive your comments. 
and if you would like to see how to customize your remote watch faces please click on the video showing on your screen and i'll see you there peace